Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode for Agent Force for everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to invoke prompt template from Flows. So far, we have covered what is prompt builder, what is prompt template, how to create prompt template, the different types of prompt templates we have understand, and we also understand how to invoke Flows and Apex from prompt builder, from prompt template. Now we are going to do the vice versa. So we are going to invoke the prompt template from the flows. Why we are doing? Why we are going to invoke prompt template from flows is so in our previous episode, we have created a summary field on the account. So in the summary, we are going to generate a short paragraph summary for the account with related cases, contacts and opportunities. So you can see I have a summary generated already, which is describing the total short summary for the account, which has the number of contacts, opportunities and the cases. Now, how to generate this summary for that? I have dragged this summary field into the account record page. And if you can see a little pencil icon. So when we click on this icon, it generates the summary. It takes a couple of seconds. So it generates the summary and then we can click the use button. And when we click the save button, then we get the data into our summary field. Now, I don't want to do this manual steps. So that is the reason I am going to invoke my prompt template from a record triggered flow. So whenever let's say a new account has been created or a existing account has been changed, I would like this summary to be generated automatically. Also, we will also invoke and generate the summary whenever a new contact has been created or whenever a existing contact has been updated or uh, any contact has been deleted. Same, we are going to check if any opportunities has been created, updated or deleted and if any cases created, updated or deleted. So whenever anything happens in the database, I would like this summary to be generated in the real time and this can show me the real time data. So let's see how we can achieve this. Now, if I go to my setup and search for prompt builder, So this is the prompt template we have created in our previous episode, which is going to generate the summary. And this prompt template is also invoking a flow, which is getting us the data related to that account, such as case data, context data and opportunities data. So that's how we see the summary generated here. Now I am going to invoke this prompt template from my record record flow. So whenever let's say an account has been created, I would like this prompt template to run automatically. So for that, I am going to my account object and go to the flows. There are no existing flows at the moment. So I'm going to create a new flow and I will choose the object account and I will choose the trigger the flow when a record is created or updated both. I will choose the actions and related records because I need to invoke a prompt template. I also need to set a entry condition that I don't want this flow to run whenever summary has been changed. So for example, if we invoke the prompt template, the prompt template will generate and gives, gives us the response. And then when we update the response to the summary, then I don't want this flow to invoke the prompt template again. Otherwise, this is going to be in a recursive mode. So to prevent that, I am going to put a condition that whenever a summary does not change, then only please invoke the prompt template that is done. So now if we go to our actions and if we can scroll down to the prompt template sections, here we can find our prompt template, which is account summary prompt template, which is this one. So I'm simply selecting this invoke account summary prompt template. And then I also need to pass the account record. So for that, I can simply pass the whole triggering record. Now, once we pass the whole triggering record, it is going to invoke this prompt template, generating the data and gives us back. So to, in order to receive the data, I am going to assign a manual variable and in the prompt response, I am getting the data. So for that, I am going to create a new resource of variable and name would be prompt data type should be text and done. Once that is done, that means the invoke prompt template is successfully done. Now, whatever the response I am getting from this prompt template, I need to update that to the account summary field. So for that, I will simply use the account triggering record, um, update summary. And let's say specify condition or use the ID. 
I can use the account tracking record because we need to trigger the same record and I will say summary and the data is getting assigned from the prompt. So in the prompt, I will receive the data from the prompt template and I'm assigning the same data to the summary field and I will click save. So let's say this is account create update flow and save. And I'm going to activate this flow. Now, if I'm going to my account and create, let's say a new account. Okay, so I only see a summary field. So I need to first fix this page assignments. Uh, let me go and add the required field. So if I go to the field universally required field, I can simply drag the name here because to create an account, we just need an account name, which is mandatory. And if I go back now, if I select a new account and I can simply say test YouTube and click save. So now you can see as soon as I created a new account, the summary has been generated and it says the account name test YouTube has a rating of because we don't have any rating and there is no type as well. So it tries to generate the summary, but definitely when the prompt doesn't receive any particular data, so it won't be able to generate a proper accurate response. So now let's update few things because we have invoked the prompt template on update as well. So as soon as I am going to update the ratings to let's say cold and type to customer channel, and if I click save, I can expect a new summary to be generated. So you can see the summary has been generated. The account name test YouTube categorized as channel customer channel with a rating of cold. Now the account part is done. Now I would like to invoke the prompt template when a new contact has been created as well. And when uh, opportunities and cases has been created as well. So let's say we don't have any invoke mechanism on the contact. And if I try to create a new contact, let's say what is going to happen. Uh, test contact one and email. I'll say contact one at test.com and if I click save so see the contact has been created but nothing happened in the summary so now I'm going to invoke the same prompt template from the contact trick record triggered flow as well so let me delete this first and now if I am going to flow trigger explorer and here if I choose contact created no flows updated no flow so let's create a new flow and I will choose record is created or updated true contact I don't need any conditions because I want to invoke this flow all the time whenever a new contact or is created or updated and action and related which is fine and now I'm going to invoke the prompt template which is here and account summary prompt template invoke account summary prompt template and here we need to pass the account record so account ID is available in the contact which is triggering contact and account ID but we need to send the whole account object so I don't think this will accept Yes. So for that, we are going to first get the whole account record uh, account where ID is. We can fetch it from the contact dot account ID record dot account ID. And we just need the first record, which is fine. And now we can pass the whole account record, which is coming in account from get record. That's it. We can also receive the response from the prompt in the prompt variable. So let's create a new prompt variable text and save once we have the response we can simply do a update record update records update account summary and specify the object let's say account the id is, should be checked with contact dot account id uh, and then we are going to update the summary field so here we have the prompt done uh, and then I can say contact create update flow. That's it. So now based on this flow, whenever a new contact is created or an existing contact is updated, we can expect the summary to be generated for the real time data. Let me activate this flow. And now if I go and create a new contact, so let's look at this summary and then see how it's going to change instantly. So let's say test con one on one at test.com that's fine and hit save cool so when we created our new contact our summary gets updated it says the account name test youtube this is this with e, uh, established a contact name this with the email address this now let's create another contact uh, test 
con2 con2 at test.com and save so the summary gets updated now it says has established two contacts so this is how you can generate your summary dynamically whenever a record changes and this is how you can invoke the prompt template from your flows uh, we can do the same thing with our opportunity with our cases so you just need a record record flow on opportunity and a record record flow on cases you can invoke the same prompt template with the same way we have done in contact flow so i'm not going to repeat those steps here because that will be the duplicate steps and we can also write a record record flow on the delete so whenever a contact has been deleted you can invoke the same prompt template and then that prompt template will gonna update the summary and uh, remove the contacts whatever the records has been deleted so that's how you invoke the prompt templates from the flow i hope you understand the whole scenario in the next video we are going to do the same thing but with apex so we are going to see how we can invoke the prompt templates from apex methods uh, till then uh, take care and thanks for watching any questions please reach out to me on linkedin thank you